Okay, so I want to talk about something that I continue to see real estate agents struggle with. And I believe it's it's something that a lot of people um, struggle with. And it's the reason why I, I think a lot of low producers stay low producers without ever reaching their full potential in this business and make the real money that they want to make in uh, as being a real estate agent. And it's something that I call the cycle of low producers. And so here's what they do. And you may find, and it's okay, you can be honest, you may find yourself um, struggling with some of the things we're going to talk about in today's video. That's okay because in order to get better, we have to be self-aware. We have to be okay to look in the mirror to say, yeah, you know what, Brandon, I do struggle with that. And uh, now that you've kind of pointed it out and articulated it that way, I can be aware of it and I can work on getting better. So, so the first thing that I'm seeing is agents uh, that are addiction to searching for the magic pill. You see, what I wrote down here is, you know, they'll hear top producer after top producer continue to tell them that they do four things, four basic things to succeed in real estate sales. And those four things are this, prospect daily, which is making outbound phone calls or knocking on doors to generate leads. Number two, follow up with those leads to then generate listing appointments. Number three, get those listings sold while providing great client service. And then number four, continue to build their database, communicate with those people in the database on a consistent basis so they can generate repeat and referral business and generate a long-term consistent profitable real estate sales business. And so those are the four things that they continue to hear top producers say uh, panel after panel, YouTube video after YouTube video, uh, uh, seminar after seminar, webinar after webinar, so on and so forth. And they know this is what they should be doing, yet they say to themselves, oh, it just cannot be this simple. And so they spend their days, their weeks, their months, searching and searching and searching for the magic pill, the easy button, the, 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 the thing they believe that maybe top producers are holding back to say, no, there's got to be something more to simply uh, uh, the very mundane, boring, hard work of making outbound prospecting phone calls on a daily basis. There's got to be something more to that than, than the millionaires that they're not telling me about. And I'm going to come hell or high water, I'm going to spend my days and my weeks and my months searching for that answer. And they keep coming back to the same basic fundamentals of this business which are the four things we just outlined. Prospect daily to generate leads. Follow up daily to set appointments. Secure the listing, get it sold, give great client service, and then follow up with people in your database so you can earn repeat and referral business. You do this long enough, you'll succeed in this industry. You'll build a massive business. Your transactions will continue to grow year after year. So what happens is after, after the low producer, it takes... A lot of people, a long time typically, because they fight this. They fight this for a long time. They chase a bunch of different shiny objects, right? Because there's a bunch of different voices out there. There's a bunch of marketers out there selling real estate agents that, dude, you don't need to prospect. You don't need to do any of the hard work. Buy my little widget. Buy my little marketing branding campaign, and you'll have all the clients you want and you'll never have to do any of the hard work. You'll never have to work on your sales skills. Now, this gets a lot of low producers in the beginning. They buy into a lot of these shiny objects. They start doing Facebook advertising. They start doing branding campaigns. Hell, a lot of them good on the radio. They start doing billboards. They start doing all kinds of stuff, all kinds of things. They start hiring ISAs because they don't wanna make the phone calls. Maybe I can just hire an ISA. Uh, in the Philippines, they can make phone calls and I can just sit back and go on appointments. They try everything. And then they come back to the basics. They come back to the fundamentals. They come back to the things they know they should be doing, but aren't doing them. Which brings us into problem number two, which is what Tim Grover talks about in his book, Relentless. And if you haven't read this book, 
I would go get it, get it on, on audio or get the, uh, the physical version, Kobe Bryant's coach, Michael Jordan's coach, Dwayne Wade's coach. And Tim talks about this in the very first chapter, which is the second problem I want to talk about in today's video, which is the fact that we keep thinking about, thinking about what we're supposed to be doing, but we're not actually doing it. You can call it analysis paralysis, you can call it creative avoidance, but what real estate agents do is this. Once they come back to uh, accepting the fact that this business is very basic, it's very uh, foundational, and they say, okay, fine. I'm gonna start to, I'm gonna start to create a business plan. I'm gonna start to create a, a prospecting business strategy to go out there and start prospecting, Brandon, and generate leads, generate appointments. Fine, I'm gonna do that. And then they, they, they get caught in this analysis paralysis. They get caught in thinking about doing it and they never ever do it because they're, they want perfection. They want everything to be perfect. They've got to research every single property before they make the phone call. They have to make sure their website is perfect because, hey, listen, what happens if I get somebody on the phone and they want to do some research on me? Certainly, my website's got to be beautiful. It's got to be sexy. I got to make sure my business card, Brandon, is the right touch and the right feel. My logo's got to be dialed in. My email signature's all got to be clickable in HTML. It has to be that way because what if I email out my resume? And all my folders and all my branding and all my social media, I got to go hire a designer. I got to do all this stuff. This is what we call creative avoidance. This is what we call analysis paralysis. This is what we call thinking about doing the actual work, but avoiding doing the actual work. This is the second major problem we see with real estate agents that are low producers is they spend all their time after they made a decision to say, okay, fine. I'll surrender that this is a, a very basic business that I've got to be a salesperson. I've got to pick up the phone. I've got to call people. I've got to knock on doors. I've got to send people messages on, on Instagram. Fine, I'm going to do that. They can't ever get into action because they, they're, they're so caught up in trying to make everything perfect. It's just them avoiding doing the actual work. Then what happens? Listen closely. Stay with me here. Then... They actually, they finally, after weeks and maybe months of avoiding doing the actual work, uh, months of avoiding actually picking up the phone to make their first phone call to an expired listing, they finally get into action. They try it for two weeks. And instead of being patient and allowing the process to be their best friend, instead of and ignoring my advice, which is the learnings in the doing, Okay, the learning is not in preparing to do it. The learning's in the doing of the activity. They try it for two weeks, they get no results. They blame the strategy and say, oh, I told you. I told you there's gotta be something else to it. I tried it and it didn't work. Well, ladies and gentlemen, trying it for two weeks without getting results is not really, and, and, and the, the first second you say try, you have already given up. Commitment is doing what you said you were going to do after the feeling has gone of when you uh, decided to do it. That's what commitment really is. It is, is, is doing the activities long after you created the plan, when you were excited to build the plan. And then it, they go back into this vicious cycle again of, well, that didn't work. Let me go and back on the search. Let me go back to YouTube, Instagram, start following all these marketers. Maybe there's a different way. There's gotta be a better way. And this is the vicious uh, uh, cycle of, of low producers. And this is why it's so difficult for people to get out of the rut. So difficult for people to get into momentum. And quite frankly, this is why we uh, are in the business that we are in of, of coaching real estate agents like yourself is to help you create a business plan, to help you create a strategy, a step-by-step -step system for you to follow daily, weekly, monthly, annually so that you can accomplish the goals that you've set when you got in this business in the first place so that you can start making the money that I know you want to make. And so if you need help putting th this plan together, if you need to be held accountable, you need to have uh, somebody by your side coaching you through this step-by-step, -step, let's talk. I'm gonna put a link beneath this video. 
You can schedule time uh, coaching consultation. It's totally free. You can learn exactly how our coaching program works. And then you can decide if working together with me to accomplish the goals that you set makes any sense for you right now or not. Either way, no big deal, but I want to continue to serve you in your real estate business. I want to continue to help you with tactics and strategies and how-tos so that you can accomplish what you set out to accomplish when you first made the decision to get into this industry. So uh, uh, hopefully this makes sense to you. Uh, it's probably a lot of a lot of the same things you, you find yourself struggling with. And if it is, it's okay. Let me know if you have questions in the comments section. Uh, I appreciate you supporting the channel. I'll continue to make content like this uh, to hopefully get you to where you want to go. And then we'll plan on seeing you guys in another video. Thank you guys so much for watching today. And we'll see you soon.